Okay, good morning, Team Riven. We are now going to discuss the third assignment for you. So basically, for this lab, we'll be installing, uh, we'll be learning the basics of CIDR to be discussed in our day two and install the most important network tools. The first, most important thing before learning these things is why do you need it? Let's look at some examples. For example, if you look at, if you just type CIDR, yeah, you would see a DevOps job. Normally, it should have more than that, okay? So, there we go. Uh, a network engineer or even a DevOps Deb engineers with this amount of salary should learn these basics. IP address, subnetting, and CIDR, okay? The next off, is Nmap one of the most important tools for uh, cybersecurity engineers, attack engineer, that's a weird name, security testers, etc. etc. So we will be learning how to install all of them in our virtual machine. So let's get started. First off, go to the website Nmap and download it, as well as go to the website of Wireshark, download it as well. So, I have done all of it already, which is here. So, I'm just going to need to open these files. Okay, um, my Nmap is not yet actually downloaded. I may need to get it. So, it's this one. So, it's a very small file. So, let's install Nmap first in our Windows. Now, I'd like to add, to make everything easier, I, I advise you guys to please install um, VMware tools. Notice that mine says reinstall because I already have done it. So all you have to do is click this one and install VMware from here. It will appear here, okay? So mine is already done, so we don't need to do that. Anyways, so let's install our first software it's called nmap so it's this one open the file oh this one oh already installing it we go next agree let's go next wait for it okay at this point while waiting to install let's do a little test all right oh it's asking to be installed so just leave it the default mm, possibly click that one let's wait for the installer now why is this a showing two pieces okay let it install. Now while waiting, I go next, click on finish. And done. Notice that it doesn't it does not appear here yet. So you have to get out of it, run it again, and now you have Nmap. Okay? What exactly is Nmap? Okay? To better, to better explain Nmap, all we have to do is use it, all right? So you may need to run Notepad. So um, clarification, we will not be hacking anybody. We're just gonna be looking at things, okay? So type in the website of your school or any school, okay? But preferred your college so that you are familiar, okay? So let's try this one. So, um, type in the uh, IP address of the school you last graduated and try to ping it, okay? Notice that I'm, when I'm trying to ping ADMU, an IP address is being shown here. Yes, it is a timeout, but all you need to do is get the IP address and press enter and type the IP address here, okay? 
and let nmap do the magic, okay? So to, to do that, we type nmap minus s, big P, capital P, and put in this IP address, remove the the last IP and replace it at zero and put a slash 24. Now slash 24, that's a CIDR number. What is a CIDR? Well, it's gonna be discussed in our class, but for now, just do what we're doing. So paste it that well and press enter and wait. Okay, so at this point, it scanned the school. Okay, so we have different servers. We have Fortress, Guinness, what else? Um, on Air, Alumni website. There's a Curry, Ginto, a lot of names, a lot of computers. Now, mind you, all of this are online. Okay, so these are the sites Eagle Watch, Roster, blah, 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 mail server, etc. But the, the, the most important thing you have to see is this one. Why is it saying, why is it saying 256? So, this is what you do. We put a slash 24 and it yielded 256 address. Got it? So, what we're going to do now? We're going to remove, we're going to um, reduce this a bit by making it slash 25. So the question is, when you put slash 25, how many addresses will be scanned all right so let's go put in slash 25 okay so to save on time it says 128 addresses very good one more scan uh, make it higher slash 26 tell me how many addresses are being scanned okay so your assignment is scanning uh, a website your school preferably and telling me what slash don't google the answer okay that's not good I want you to end map all the way when you reach slash 32 okay how many addresses are being scanned that's the first task you've got to do okay so um that's it that's your assignment for tonight that should not take too long okay now since it's a f uh it's a quick assignment i'd like to add a few more things okay so one of the schools uh, one of my students was asking me sir can you please do a scan of my school because he's a instructor for um Bulacan state university so the school is bulsu.edu.ph. So how do we scan that again? First off, we ping the address, uh, the, the URL. It reveals an IP address, okay? So you get that one, type nmap minus V, uh, sorry, S, capital P, and replace this with a zero put a slash 24 that will be discussed in class press enter now it starts scanning oh there's a lot of computer inside okay so yeah now exactly why are we net mapping okay we just want to know what why are we net mapping okay so i'll give you one example nmap allows you to check what services or what does a website do for example the Bulacan State uh, University website when you check on it it has these ports open okay now um, on our day four we will be di discussing cybersecurity but for now um, let's just see how do we get in the port 21 here yeah, port 21 because it's open so you go here we run another instance of CMD we tried FTP that's an FTP port by the way 
Okay. Uh, 110. Oh, sorry. 110.34.166.139. You try to get in because it's open. Okay, while waiting, we'll try another address, okay? Something a well-known address. So I'll just cancel that one. Get out. Type buy. Try another address. Address would be 66.171.30.1. Press enter. Oh, okay. It's a Microsoft STP, uh, FTP. For the user, we type in anonymous. And just type any fake email. Fake email at fakeemail.com. We are logged in. Now, the command is ls to list what files can we take, okay? So, list on the files. Oh, there are a lot of files we can get. We have some virus tools. Okay. So let's get one. Okay. Um, VPN client is nice to have. So we try to get that one. Press enter here. Type get. Press enter. It's trying to download. Okay. So I want you to download any of the tools from there. Now this is doable because port 21 is open okay so that's for our lab i hope you finish it by saturday evening thank you